friends, it's me. Last week I made a video about the vegan teacher, and ever since then, she's made not one, but four videos about me. One of them is called, Sniper Wolf is on her way to becoming vegan. Wait, what? Hello students, we have wonderful news. SS Sniper Wolf is well on her way to becoming vegan. She's already completed step one, which is to put up her fists and fight the messengers, who are just here to tell the truth about the horrible ways that animals are treated in the meat, dairy, and egg industries. She got her first click. Only 99 left to go. Wait, 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 wait. She made a video saying, I'm gonna become vegan if 100 people sign their name. Wait, what? Oh, if only the world worked that way. Hey, I heard you like donuts. Yeah. I'm gonna do this online petition so that you can never eat another donut again. Wait, wait. <laughs> I already signed. Here's what she should have said in her presentation and what she will say in the future if she's a good person at heart. You can eat what you want, but you can't eat who you want. There must be consent before touching anyone. So before I pick up my dog or pet my dog, my dog has to consent. How's an animal gonna do that? The cow lifts this leg like, all right, yes, you can milk me now. Gives you the nod of approval. That's when it's okay to milk a cow. A chicken lays an egg. Before you take the egg, the chicken has to look at you, make eye contact, blink twice, nod, and say yes before you can legally take that egg. I'm sorry, Vegan Karen, that is not how the world works. To future SS Sniper Wolf, who will join us after she gets her 100 clicks and becomes vegan for life. Only 99 clicks left, woohoo! So 99 people click it, I'm vegan, allegedly. It's funny because it's ironic. You're doing this without my consent. So when somebody calls me by my legal name, I take it as a form of disrespect. That by itself makes me wanna punch a cow. Punch a cow? Somebody mispronounces your name and you want to punch a cow? When it's you, yes ma'am. Bizarre thing to say. What the f*** is the matter with you? Woo, she's getting mad. Angie. Do you realize what your words are doing? Your words have impact. It's not a joke. Actually, it is a joke. Do you really see me taking time out of my day, no matter how angry I am at the vegan t-shirt? Do you honestly see me going out into a field, finding a cow, and knocking it out? She thinks I'm dead serious. I'm gonna go on a cow punching rampage. It's not a joke to talk about hurting the defenseless. What a despicable thing to say. I feel like I'm in school being scolded. I'm an adult now, so you can't talk to me like that. Um, I'm drinking matcha, vegan, but has cream on it from cows. Vegan teacher like. When you mention the M word, milk. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. Honestly, what good are cows if they don't give us milk? They ain't cute. You can't train them to do a trick. I agree, the dairy industry is But come on. Cereal with almond milk doesn't taste the same. I don't tell you how to live your life, but please do not tell me how to live my life. If you don't want anyone to tell you how to live your life, what right do you think you have to tell this pig that it's time for her to die at just six months old just because you want to eat bacon? Sausage or ham. So she brings up this book like why well, love one but eat the other I mean you could love an animal and still eat it Also, I ain't never ate dog and I ain't never ate pig so your argument irrelevant There are so many other things to eat in your next presentation I want you to talk about the animals with compassion tell the truth about what they go through show empathy here We got the cute versus delicious scale my dog cute. She don't even got that much meat I would never eat a dog chicken Ugly. Also, tastes delicious. Vegan teacher would hate to hear it. Empathy, empathy. Animals are not ours to eat. So, when is the mixtape gonna drop? She just said animals are not ours to eat. Then why do other animals eat animals? Aren't we as humans animals? So we should be eating animals. Just like the other animals eat other animals. It don't make no sense. She gonna come after the lions, cheetahs, T-Rex. Basically any animal that eats meat. When are you gonna cancel them? Oh, they don't know any better. Neither do humans. Come on, let's go get a messy shiitake burger. I got just the place. My treat. The future is vegan. This is kinda cringe, bro. Time to dance. Come on, SS Sniper Wolf, shake it. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals, don't buy their bodies, don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It's only by the grace of God that you are- Bro, what is this? Do, 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 don't eat chicken, don't eat meat. Take a seat. Sit down, Squidward. I can't believe this is a 60-year-old woman. I need my protein, I need my protein, I need my protein.
Oh boy, I can see this is gonna take a while. Like I already said, plants have protein. Leah, you don't need to eat animals or their secretions or their eggs. Yoo-hoo! SS Sniper Wolf! Leah, open your eyes. Why is there a black screen? Girl, I wanna see your face! I wanna see your mouth move! What influence does a black screen have? Girl, where's your face cam at? Okay, Leah. Well, I'm really proud of you for sitting still this long. I know you're getting tired and it's gonna be recess soon. She really out here acting like I'm sitting here in her class. Yes, I'm watching the videos. Yes, I'm listening. Dang, she's getting exactly what she wanted. Fell right into her trap. You know what's hilarious? Vegetable Karen over here tried to cancel Coco Melon. The kids show because of this. Um, okay, hold on one second there. What do I see? Okay, we're talking about a sheep, first of all. Bro, as soon as the kid can like open their eyes, they're gonna be glued to Coco Melon to learn like what ABCs, how to talk, fetuses. Watch Coco Melon. Um, one thing about this farm that strikes me right away that I find kind of odd is there that farms like that, like this rarely exist anymore. Big corporations have taken over and they have taken the land and they have these massive uh, farms where they keep the animals. So right away, this is kind of an old fashioned way of teaching kids about animals. You know, old McDonald's farm, that type of thing. She's like, ugh, an animation of a farm like this? So old fashioned. What do you want them to do? Show a documentary on how milk is really made? You trying to traumatize these children? She's like, yes. By far, the vast amount of animals on this planet are used. They are eaten, they are warm. Okay, but have you been to every single farm in the world? You telling me someone ain't got a farm like this? Even I had a farm like that in Minecraft. <laughs> Speaking of Minecraft. This is to the young man who seems to think it's okay to use my face and my voice clips for his video game to try to make money. What you're doing is illegal. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Minecraft, I see. So, mm, I'm gonna give them an X for this, but I'll give them a, a check mark because they're at least talking about animals, so that's good. Whoa, Coco Melon gets an X? 116 million subscribers, drop to zero. <laughs> oh, what's going on? All right, so we have a little kid here coming to do something to the sheep, and clearly this sheep is not happy and trying to get away. So this sheep ha knows what's going on. The sheep has clearly been abused in some way. I was like, no, don't say it, don't say it. This sheep ran away, he's been abused. My dog runs away when she sees me pulling out the wet wipes, trying to wipe the dirt off her paws. Does that mean she's abused? No. Or is definitely not happy to see this child. So what has this child done? She out here blaming the child, like what did he do? Maybe the sheep don't like kids. Have you any <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> he said, mm, no, I ain't got no wool. Okay, this is not okay. So the song is Baba Black Sheep, Have You Any Wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. And the sheep is clearly saying, um, no, I don't have any wool for you. The wool belongs to me. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what, what is all that? What do we have here? He got the audacity to say, mm -mm, no. You told me this sheep living rent free on this farm and he can't at least give him some wool. There's a loud ass fly in my room. I see him, but I can't get him. Also, don't sheeps need to have their fur cut? Otherwise they look like this and it's heavy. They can't even walk like that. They're prone to infections. Also, when you take their fur, it's not hurting them. Why are we having this scene here anyway? Three bags full? You have three bags full of wool? Um, no. This is not okay. This is exactly what I'm worried about. What is not okay about this? Don't touch the animal without his consent. I traded my first daughter for that sheep. I will touch it. This is not a game that the sheep is playing. It's not a game of tag. One for the dame. One for the... What? And one for the dame? What are you talking about? You're gonna take the sheep's wool and you're just gonna give it away to random people? Uh, no, they're gonna sell it for profit because that's a smart thing to do. I ain't raised this sheep. Take care of it to give his wool away for free. Also, she really just paused out of the video every two seconds like, no, no, stop, this is not okay. Sheep's wool belongs on them. No, it doesn't. We need to stop breeding sheep into existence and breeding them in such a way that they, they have more and more and more wool. So what you're saying is we should just let the sheep die out. How will they make Uggs? And then there's this lie that people tell. They say, oh, we need to, to uh, shave the sheep because otherwise they'll be uncomfortable. No, what we need to do is stop breeding sheep to begin with. Stop creating animals just for the purpose of using them 
taking from them, stealing from them, eating them. It seems what Veggie Karen wants is a reset, like a meteor to come and just crash the earth and we start over with like Noah's Ark, take two of each animal and we start again, we start over. Well, that is the only option. One for the little boy who lives down the What? Why does the little boy who lives down the lane need to have some kind of wool from a sheep. Maybe because the winters are cold and we want to keep the child warm. You're wearing clothes, right? Why do you need clothes? To tell everybody you're vegan? You wear clothes to keep warm. Why don't they make the clothes out of plants or something? How would you like it if somebody came and just started taking off your hair off your head without consent? I think you'd be running away too. No, 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 no. If somebody came and shaved my armpit hair to make me more comfortable and less sweaty, I'd be like, great, thanks. Bit embarrassing though. She does horrible comparisons. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any more? Yes, sir. <laughs> My head hit the wall. And the poor thing, she runs into a ladder and, and gets herself hurt trying to escape. This is not okay either. She sounds like she's gonna start crying. I'm still gonna laugh. Also, why is the baby out here doing daddy's chores? This baby should be sitting at home watching Coco Melon. And yeah, he out here trying to shave the sheep. What's funny about that? You just caused this harm to this sheep by chasing her and trying to do something to her that she doesn't want. And when she has a bucket that falls on her and she's full of paint, your first reaction is to laugh? <laughs> it's like she's watching me. Yes, sorry, I acknowledge I am a terrible person. You're barking up the wrong tree. I'm not okay with this. We are not teaching kids the proper morals. Aww. No. Aww. All right, so far you have only one check mark and uh, seven X's. I like how she's using the back of a Triscuit box. Ba, ba, blue sheep, have you any oh no, he's a blue sheep. What has this child got in his hands? A lasso? A kind of a weapon with which to catch this innocent animal? Yeah, he's trying to bring the sheep back home. Next thing you know, she's gonna say, if you put a leash on a dog, you should go to jail. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three what are you doing? Four. Trying to catch the animal, the animal says no, shakes this away. Yeah, because animals say no in real life. They just shake their head and be like, no, stop. How would you like it if somebody tried to lasso you and tried to pin you down and take your hair? You want to lasso a baby now? She's talking about compassion. She got no compassion for the human race. Another X for Coco Melon. Coco Melon, so far you're not doing very good. Cancel Coco Melon. How dare they? I'm not impressed. One for the master. Now the sheep has to try to stop the lasso with with her hands because it's coming out her face. Look at this sheep's face. Do you think that this sheep wants this to happen? <laughs> Bro, it's an animation! She's taking this way too seriously. The message is clear. I don't consent to this. I don't want this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three, yes, I want to thank you for watching today. And unfortunately, um, I don't think that the show succeeded. She watched one minute and 20 seconds of it, and she's like, nah, I can't take this no more. Cocomel and Big Fat, <laughs> canceled. Y'all are dead to me. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. Comment below the dumbest thing in this video. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.